I'm going to talk a little bit about H5P and how it helps us make multimedia website content. So why H5P and what is H5P? H5P can help transform a video from a passive consumption media into an engaging interactive experience by allowing instructors to embed multiple choice questions and other interactive content into videos. So this is a great way to help learners self-assess so that they know if they understand the content of the video, as well as help keep them engaged. This is sometimes called formative assessment. H5P is an open source tool that makes it easy to create, share, and reuse HTML5 content and applications. H5P empowers everyone to create rich and interactive web experiences. With H5P, you can create and edit and edit interactive videos, presentation games, and more. Now, we don't have time to cover all of the features in H5P, but hopefully you'll, hopefully you'll get a taste for what you can do with this tool and then explore the other features on your own. So what are some of the theoretical foundations for using an interactive and multimedia tool like H5P? So some of the principles of multimedia that are related to H5P include the signaling principle, which basically states that people are in better when cues are added that highlight the key information. Another one is spatial and temporal contiguity principle. People are in better when the corresponding words and pictures are presented close to each other in time and space. And lastly, the feedback principle. People are in better for multimedia lessons when they receive explanative feedback on their performance. It's important to remember that using H5P to create multimedia learning objects doesn't mean that you'll necessarily be using it in ways that don't break multimedia learning principles. So be sure to keep an eye on the multimedia learning principles as you plan and create your H5P multimedia learning objects so that you can make the most effective learning objects possible for your learners. So it's hands-on time now. If you have any questions, please let me know as you work your way through uh, this activity.